Hello everyone, Fearsword357 here. I am glad to show you my first upload to YouTube in almost a year. Now, last week, uh, something cool really happened. I actually got invited uh, to test the old school RuneScape uh, mobile beta. Uh, you know, as as you all probably know, um, Jagex, uh, about a year ago, um, almost a year ago now, in July last year, they announced uh, that they'd be developing an app uh, for old school mobile. Uh, and even though they decided, um, you know, it'd be released in the winter of 2017, uh, which, which in Australia is actually the would be the summer of 2017, so pretty much the end of last year. Uh, but that kind of that kind of fell flat a little bit, uh, and you know they didn't even release a beta uh, till till early last year. But I'd say based on how the how the game's been tracking for me so far since I got into the beta last Friday, I think it's I think it's been really good. You know, it's worked smoothly. You know, there's been no real problems. I mean, I mean. It's probably certain areas, like, it's been hard to click. Like, let's see if you try to teleport somewhere. Like, it'll take forever to, you know, click on the teleport. But overall, you know, the app hasn't crashed. You know, I mean, it has a pretty... It's maintained a pretty high FPS, you know. There's not been any real lag. Uh, I mean, it's probably been less lag than, you know, on my own laptop. Uh, so it's been been pretty smooth so far so now let's uh so now right now i'm cutting uh maple logs um on mobile uh you know my my personal goal in wood cutting is to get to get to at least 56 in the short term uh, so i can do the quest for me isles uh, which uh will give me get me access to the helm and the tisnod and uh give me some xp and other skills Right now I'm cutting maples and let's see, um, let's like try and bank. So going to the Sears Bank and in the Sears Village Bank it, it actually has quite a really cool feature that uh, you don't, you don't have on the, you know, on RuneScape banks, you know, in desktop. So basically what you can do uh, is you can pretty much, uh, uh, you can click, instead of holding down, uh, which, holding down an item, uh, which uh, essentially functions as a right click uh, in mobile. Uh, so what you'd normally do to, so the options that come up when you right click in old school RuneScape are uh, you, you get the same options when you hold down the screen in mobile. Uh, but what you can do is uh, you can withdraw, so without having to right click or hold down like in mobile, you can, let's say if I wanted to withdraw uh, some, withdraw, say, so let's say if I want to withdraw Five, say uh, necklace necklace of passages are uh, that I can click on that and there we go five would come out there we go so if we so if we head over to Edgeville um, we can we can do the same thing with uh, cannonball. So I just smith an an whole inventory of our uh, cannonballs using steel bars to send. Uh, so what I can do to bank the cannonballs uh, is just pretty much just select all uh, in the quantity like options, uh, and then you can just just tap on the cannonballs, and yeah, it's uh, been been put in my bank. Uh, now you can you know, let's withdraw some more steel bars. So because uh, that that's on all, uh, all you need to do is uh, tap on tap on the item, and it'll withdraw all, all of that item. So 
for example, here I've withdrawn an entire inventory of steel bars. I with just one tap. So, or alternatively, uh, you can you can you can even bank them all. Or alternatively, you can you can just click that withdraw all steel bar. Now let's say if you want to withdraw 10 and you tap on it and yeah it withdraws 10 steel bars and if you want to withdraw 5 if you select 5 and then tap and then you withdraw 5 so pretty much yeah that's a new feature uh, exclusive to old school mobile that you you won't find on desktop is uh is the ability to withdraw a particular number of items you know without with just the tap of a button so that's all you know i i actually believe smithing cannibals will probably be one of the most uh, popular uh, things to do on old school mobile because can smithing cannibals it's very AFK uh, you get it takes about uh, three minutes to smith the, an entire inventory uh, of cannibals and you don't even have to do any clicking on the clean like, uh, so let's say you know if you're fishing or wood cutting you know the you know the tree will be chopped down every probably every minute or so or if there's a lot of bites probably every like two seconds uh, and with fishing you know the spots are uh, the fishing spot changes you know probably on average every one to two minutes uh, sometimes you can go for longer but then then after five minutes you'll probably log out anyway but uh sniffing cannibals you, you kind of just know when like when you have to bank or whatever or <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so I think uh, cannonballs is a very uh, thing to do, and I think in old school mobile, I think a lot of the methods are, a lot of the things like people do, like, will pr pretty much be AFK with things like cannonballs, uh, fishing, wood cutting, uh, maybe even another way like mine, uh, so stuff like that, like quite, you know, AFK. Activities, uh, and you know what? I think I think old school mobile is going to take old no XP waste to a whole new level. Anyway, uh, th thanks for watching, uh, and you know I'm glad to show you, you know, some of the stuff, you know, some of the features of old school mobile, and show you that it's uh, pretty much going to be a very smooth experience. You know, it's going to be very playable. Uh, you know. You know, on most phones, you know, the app, you know, it's not even going to crash. Like, for me here, you know, I I have a very, I have a very old um, HTC Desire, a 6 and it doesn't have all that great processing speed, uh, and plus I actually have a crack, like, in my phone screen, uh, but despite that, uh, Seems to run an app like Old School RuneScape very smoothly, and I think I think Old School Mobile is going to do all right. Uh, you know, it might might pump up the player base a little bit, and you know, it might might bring back a few old school players, you know, from way back. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you for watching.